am stomping grapes, or can I tell you, I'm stomping pumpkins for my pumpkin sangria. Now, there is nothing feminine or pretty about stomping grapes, but they make a beautiful sangria, even if they're pumpkin grapes. Bet you're wondering, what do pumpkin grapes look like? Well, they look like this. This is how they grow. How beautiful are they? And they grow right in your own craft store. You can't really make juice out of them, but they're fun to tell the kitties. That's some great little Halloween trivia for you there. Let's talk about sangria. First thing I want to do is put together some sugar and some pumpkin pie spice. And this is for the rims of my glasses. One teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And this is going to be used to go around the rims of our glass. Give that a shake or a stir, whatever you like. And then we're going to lay this on a plate. And for my liquid to make that sugar stick to the glass rim, I'm going to use maple syrup. Into your punch bowl, you're going to put three cups of tropical juice. Then to this, I want you to add a whole bottle of white wine. Now for the pumpkin part of my cocktail, pumpkin spice liqueur. One cup of that. And we are ready. Your glass goes into the maple syrup, then into the pumpkin pie spice and sugar. Then you're going to want to fill this up with your wonderful sangria. I have a feeling that when Lucy was alive, she would have loved to have given this to Ethel. For my garnish, I'm just going to take one of those pretty little candy pumpkins, put it on a cinnamon stick, and right inside here it goes. And that is the perfect Halloween cocktail. I love that. I have pumpkin jello shots, and they start off with two cups of hot water. Now, very few people were in hot water on Lucy's set because she always had a great time. But I'm using this hot water on my set to make those jello shots. Those are going to be so easy and so fun. What you also want to use is orange gelatin. I have six containers of orange gelatin here. Now, you might be thinking, hey, you need a couple cups of water for each one of these containers of gelatin, kind of like you need three cups of milk for pudding. Well, we want these jello shots to set up really, really kind of strong and sturdy, so we're using less water. This is a cup and a half of vodka. Yes, you can put vodka in something that's going to set up. Then we're going to put two tablespoons of brown sugar in here and two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. What else? Give it a stir, and that's going to go in here. Give this a stir. You really want to give this a good whisk because you want to make sure that you dissolve all of that gelatin into the liquid. A red cherry is going to go in each one of these little mini muffin cups. So we're going to do three different versions of our jello shots here. We're going to do them in muffin cups. We're going to do them in lollipop molds. And then finally, I'm going to use a sheet pan to create my third jello shot. By the way, you could cut those into little pieces, or you could even use maybe a cookie cutter and create cute little designs. And by the way, this recipe, you can use any flavor you want. So if it's a different holiday, different flavor of gelatin. Let's go in for the pumpkins. These, by the way, I want you to check it out. These are little lollipop molds, right? You normally make lollipops in these. This is where the stick would go. What I've done is create a little dam here of fondant. You want something that's not going to melt. So a little fondant goes in there. And now for the tray. This is my favorite one, and it's also the easiest one because you just pour it in and let it set up, and then you cut it. If 
but it's a little simpler than these little shapes here. Now these need to go in the refrigerator for about two hours, so let me do that and I'll be right back. These all set up and look at my little pumpkins and the ones with cherries. Now for my sheet pan. Now there's a trick to getting them out of here, right? You're taking your cookie cutter and you're just gonna give it a little jiggle. Then I want you to take just a small spatula. You're gonna work your way underneath the jello just to loosen it and lift it up with the cookie cutter in place and then place it onto your sheet. And there you go. That is the perfect pumpkin jello shot.